Hello and welcome to another update video about the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. I haven't covered it very often on this channel. The last time I've covered it um, was when we were already, I think, in this fifth wave here to the upside. Yeah, from an Elliott Wave point of view, the last wave of a larger cycle. I believe we talked about this long term chart as well and my assumption that we are basically here in an um, in a fifth wave to the upside that would lead to a really substantial top being formed and that we could then start and I go to the daily chart now that we could then start I don't even know if we can actually see that on this chart four day chart yeah that we could start this substantial wave for pullback um, which obviously you know obviously we go <laughs> We go back quite a substantial wave degree then so <laughs> so uh, we talk about um, a wave four of magnitude of this wave two uh, of around like you know that that dipped 1932 so it is substantial okay that's very similar to what we are looking for on the um spx as well yeah so a substantial wave four correction and we have some early signs that we could have completed this larger degree third wave. So this is going to be quite significant. That's something that I'm observing on several index charts and several indices. However, I am not going to call a bull market top yet. And uh, I'm not going to call the bear market has started. I'm simply going to track it until the market tells me something different is going on. And I just want to highlight the risk, okay, because we are on several in the index charts yeah very very much in the area where long-term tops could have formed and even the dow jones reached actually this ideal target range as well between 39,420 and 40,900 and at the moment if we now go to the one hour time frame perspective is that we are now starting this decline okay so my perspective is at the moment that the initial decline that we have seen, I just need to, yeah, the initial decline that we've seen would be here an A wave. We could still be in a B wave. I would prefer a larger B wave, and then we could come down in the C wave. And this is really only the start of this correction. I mean, um, this will be confirmed further, you know, as we go in this microstructure here, then obviously the idea would be that this is even a uh, an even larger ABC that's forming here. So um, my perspective would be that this here would be a small A, this here would be a B, C, uh, and then that this larger A bottomed. Okay, and we're now in a B wave, but this B wave is very, very weak. Okay, so that means if we don't really see a substantial B wave rally, then this indicates very, you know, substantial weakness. What I would prefer for a healthy B wave is this A wave up. Not sure how this is all moving, but it's possible that this B wave might be a triangle and then we move up in wave C. But I don't think this C wave has started yet. Okay, and unless... No, I don't think it has started yet unless... Um... It looks more like a triangle. So if I go to the 30 minute chart. So obviously it's either a triangle in wave B, but yeah, or in a more bearish version, the B already topped. I mean, essentially B waves can morph. They are very chameleon like structures. We need to see how the market opens tomorrow because look at this strong downtrend there that we've seen towards close. Um, it's entirely possible that the B wave already topped, but I prefer a more healthy B wave until the market breaks below this low, which is this 37,600 points low. Below that level, I assume that wave B topped and we are already in wave C to the downside. So I highlight that in yellow question mark. Well, if the B wave has already topped and we obviously we're coming down in wave C, a C wave would often reach, yeah, basically the same length as the A wave. So we can just put that on the chart, but it's going to be a moving target until we really have a confirmed top in place. So we'll then talk about the area between 36,314 and basically 35K as key support area. 
or target area for wave C to the downside. The question might then come up, okay, what then? Now, it is impossible to say how exactly a correction is materializing and unfolding in advance. You know, they are not impulsive structures, they are corrections, they morph a lot, they transform a lot. But typically, most of these are made up of ABC structures. So it's possible that this ABC just forms a larger A wave. Then we get a B wave and a C wave down, and it would probably send us into the low 30k region, and then we just have to take it from there. Bear in mind that even in a very bearish perspective or in a very bearish market, even B waves can lead to rallies and even overshoot to the upside to new oil market high, uh, oil, bull market highs or new new all time highs, and people will then think, oh, the bull market is back, but actually it's just an overshooting corrective B wave. So it's going to be interesting. Um, I think the downside level that would confirm that wave B has topped is already uh, communicated. I would at this stage still prefer a higher B wave, but obviously can't confirm it. A lot, lot of analysts are still looking for continuation to the upside. Can't rule that out, but I don't see that at this stage. It would need to give me something to, you know, to use for that. For me at the moment, the trend is down. Obviously it will be further confirmed with the structure of the current consolidation or rally, if that is impulsive, or, but it's not at the moment. So if we see any five waves move up, which I don't, then yeah, I'm going to change my perspective. But in my view would be further confirmed with a break below that red line. That's just an update about the Dow Jones. Hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, then feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.